Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Miyuki here, and today I have to show you how to crochet this super cute amateur ring puppy. It's pretty simple to make and I think you'll enjoy making it, so let's hop into the video. Okay, the materials you'll need are some sort of yarn, I'm using this cream color yarn from Red Heart Super Saver, a 5mm crochet hook, a sewing needle, scissors, this is optional but a safety pin, and you'll need only one safety eye. Alright, we're going to start with that first row. The first row we're going to start with is a magic circle with six stitches. Of course, you can use a different method. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I have a video on it. You can go check that one out. But, yeah, meet back here when you're finished. Okay, now you can start our stitch marker. And move on to our next row. What we're going to do is we're going to put two single crochet in each one of these stitches. Just, excuse me, one, and then two. Am I the only one that has problems with getting to that first stitch? Super difficult for me, so. Um, yeah, it's going to continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker, and at the end you should have 12 stitches. Okay, in our next round we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. Just one single crochet, and then two single crochet. then two single crochet. Just continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker and at the end you should have 18 stitches. Alright, in the next row we're going to do one single crochet and the next two stitches and then two single crochet. One, two, and then two single crochet. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end you should have 24 stitches. Alright, now in our next row, we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two single crochet. One, two, three, and then two single crochet. Continue to do that till you get to your stitch marker. And at the end you should have 30 stitches. 30 stitches. Okay, in our next row, we're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches. And then two single crochet. And. And one. Two. Three. And four, and then two single crochet. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end, you should have thirty-six stitches. All right, now we're going to do our last row of increase. We're going to go one single crochet in the next five stitches, and then two single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five, and then two single crochet. Just continue to do that to get to your stitch marker, and when you do, you should have forty-two stitches. Okay, now that we're done with that. It's time for the part I'm sure most crocheters hate. It's time for the doozy. We're going to do one single crochet in every one of these 42 stitches for 8 rows. So, meet back here when you finish that. It's going to take a really long time, especially if you're a beginner, so you might as well just 
turn on your favorite show, or let's do some music or something, because it's going to take a while. But we'll get through it. Meet me back when you're done. Alright, now that we've done our eight rolls, we're going to start our decreasing rounds. So the next round we're going to do is one single crochet in the next five stitches, and then two together. One, two, three, four, and five, and then decrease. You're going to continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And when you do, you should have 36 stitches. Okay. For our next row, we're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches and then two together. One and two, three and four, and then two together. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker, and at the end you should have 30 stitches. Okay, so after that row we're going to pause here and take our secondary color to make the eye circle for the spot around the dog eye. So we're going to start with a magic circle with 6 stitches in it. Two, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, once you've started your stitch marker, we're going to move on to our next round. We're going to put two single crochet in each one of these stitches. Continue to do that till you get to your stitch marker, and at the end you should have 12 stitches. Okay, this is our last row. We're just going to do one single crochet, and then two single crochet. One single crochet in the first stitch, and then two single crochets in the second. One, then two. Continue to do that till you get to your stitch marker, and at the end you should have 18 stitches. After that, you can slip stitch and not off. I should have done this. Should have done this before, but forgot about it again because I was daydreaming. I'm just sitting here waiting for the glue gun to heat up. This is great. Okay, now we're just gonna insert our safety eye into the hole in the middle. That was easy, okay. <laughs> and take the head of our dog and place it on the right in between the 13th and 14th stitch um, rows. Just like this. And then take the back and grab our hot glue gun. Just glue it down. You could try using the little um snap on clip thing for the back that comes with these safety eyes, but I don't think it's gonna fit. That's why I was using the hot glue gun. Okay, and let that dry and meet me back here so we can continue on our head. Okay, when that's done, I like to just, for now, just wrap it around the circle. We're not going to sew it on just yet. Wait till we stuff the head for that. So, back to our head. Just going to insert our stitch marker. And move on to the next round. In the next round, we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. 
and then two together. One, two, excuse me, three, and two together. Just continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end you should have 24 stitches. Okay, for the next round we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two together. One and two. And then two together. Just continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end you should have 18 stitches. Okay. After that row, we're going to stop and stuff our puppy's head. So, the whole, um, while making this puppy, I wanted his head to be somewhat square. Like, a round cube, somewhat. So, I suggest, as if you want your puppy to look that way, stuffing it to the sides of his face. The left and right side first, and then filling it in lightly everywhere else. So once you're finished with that, meet me back here, and we'll continue to the body. Okay, so once you're done with that, we're going to move on to our next row. We're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two together. One. And then two together. Can you do that until you get to your stitch marker? When you do, you should have 12 stitches. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to break here so we can sew on our eye. Just got an axle flying there. So you just thread your needle and sew all the way around. Okay, now you just want to thread some black yarn and tie a knot at the end. Tie a knot at the end so that we could embroider our dog's eye, our puppy's eye. So it's going to go in through any part of the head. And come out around here. it through and insert here go to the next stitch and pull it through lightly you don't want to pull too hard then insert here come out this stitch and pull through And go back here, pull through, and come out here. That's if you want your dog's eye to look this way. It doesn't have to. If you have a different way you like to embroider, then go here. And we're going to make the nose too, so we're going to come out at the bottom here. That's our puppy's eye. Then we're going to go into this stitch right here. Come out through the bottom. And at this point, you're just gonna keep going in and out until your puppy's nose is full. Now, me back here when you're done with that. Don't cut off just yet, though, or um, finish off because we still have to do one more piece. Okay, once you filled your dog's nose, you're going to come out through the bottom of the triangle 
and go in here and push out some hundred part of your dog's head. Go through and make that line there. You just want to tie a knot. And insert it somewhere else. Pull through. And cut it off. And that's our puppy's face. So pretty much his entire head is done. So now let's get rid of our birdie. And insert our place marker again. And move on to our next row. Our next row is going to be an increasing row. We're going to do two single crochets in each one of these stitches. Just one and two. In every stitch until you get to your stitch marker. When you do, you should have 24 stitches. Okay, so in our next row, we're going to do one single crochet for the next two stitches, and then two single crochet. One. And two. And then two single crochet. Continue to do this to get to your stitch marker. When you do, you should have 32 stitches. Okay, this is our last round of increase. We're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two single crochet. One, two, three, and then two single crochet. Continue to do that till you get to your stitch marker, and at the end you should have 40 stitches. Alright, now it's time for the hardest part. We're going to do one single crochet in every one of these stitches for 9 rows. Now, just as I said before, you might want to turn on a show or turn on some music because it's going to take a while. But buckle up and stay for the ride because it's worth it at the end. So, I'll catch up with you guys. Once I'm done with my rows, meet me back there. Alright, now that we're finally done with that, we're going to move to our decreasing rounds and finish our puppy's body. So, in the next round we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two single crochet. And two together. One, two, three, then two together. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end, you should have 32 stitches. Okay. In the next round, we're going to do one single crochet for the next two stitches, and then two together. One, two, and two together. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. At the end, you should have 24 stitches. Okay, so in our next row, we're going to do just one single crochet and then two together. One. And then two. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end, you should have 18 stitches. All right, before we move to our last round, we're going to do, um, sorry, we're going to stuff our puppy's body. I want to make sure it's nice and round, so it's like a circle on top and a circle on the bottom. Meet me back here when you're done with that. Okay, for the last round, we're just going to do two together for every two of these stitches. Just all the way around, two together. 
can you do that to get your stitch marker? And at the end, you should have six stitches. Me back here, and you're done. Alright, now that we're at the end of the body, we're just gonna cut a short tail for sewing. And pull it through. And just get our needle. Anybody hasn't seen my um, previous videos, I always use my safety pin to thread my needle. Pretty handy. Just pull it through like that. And so the bottom close. Once you sew this part, you just put your needle through here, make a knot, and then insert it and push it out anywhere else in the body. And you can cut it off. Stick it in. And your dog's body's done. This is the base of our puppy. That's all for part one. Thank you so much for watching because it was a struggle. Um, scratched my leg on the desk and then had to do the video over because my computer got rid of the footage somehow so yeah it was easy but I kept on pushing to make part one so speaking of part one though the, um, please subscribe and press the notification button so you can see when part two comes out and all my other videos and thank you so much for watching I hope it was easy for you to follow and see you in part two bye bye